Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, I'm here with Keta. Hello. Dun, dun, dun. So, let's take a look at this Seraphon project you've been working on. Yes. Now, they're still in the bin. Yes. There's a whole bunch of infantry over here in this one. And, but we're just, because you're going to see plenty of those. And because we'll probably end up doing a battle report. I hope we get a battle report in with them. And so, Kete, tell yes. us a little bit about the color scheme, the layers, the different things that you did. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, let's eat dessert first. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, take it away. I'm all yours. Uh, Carnosaur. So, the client really liked uh, this picture of a poison arrow frog. And it was, it's kind of bright, bright orange um, on top. And then it kind of had these uh, kind of white spots. Kind of well kind of like black spots on top they're kind of almost like cutouts but whatever so it was an orange and black and white kind of a scheme uh color scheme and the client really wanted that so we tried to incorporate that into the models um and kind of uh made these kind of wavy lines on the on the spines and added some kind of spots kind of a and reminiscent that was on the frog of, too was this sort of curvy oh, was it? I, don't, I can't yeah. remember but I, yeah. I, I remember we had like a whole meeting about this I remember we talked about the ahead. line yeah so kind of something reminiscent of uh, that really bright, uh, vivid poison frog colors. Yeah, it's and I'm, I'm really awesome. impressed with how you brought this to life. Because Thank just you. these well-executed like spots really give it that whole feeling mm -hmm. to it. I didn't want them to look too away. like cut out. So I, I did several right. colors and kind of just shrunk them each time on the spots. Now, and what, what we decided to do was uh, to make the lizard men be sort of this muted military mm -hmm. sort of natural green color. Mm -hmm. And I think that paid off really well yeah. because they, um, they, you know, sort of pick up well with the base work. So, you know, they give that sort of like, that's the environment that, for, that they're from, like an alligator in a swamp, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, really they, if you had done them very bright, they would have really upstaged the models. Let's yeah. take a look at something else. I think it was very, it was very complimentary to. Oh heavens to Betsy! Oh, Here things. we go. Please enjoy this this shot of the wall while I <laughs> tease out this Stegardon. So, and you did the base work on these too. Yes. In fact, you assembled this. As I well. did. You I did assembled. the whole thing. I did the whole thing. Cut them out. That's they're right. little sprues. <laughs> Pull them together. <laughs> That's awesome. The first, I, and first there's so much going on on this figure. Anyway, keep going. Talk yeah. about the um, colors. Well, so like to yeah. get the orange, what was your what were the layers to get the orange? Well, I started usually with a layer of like cavalry brown. It's kind of that reddish brown, and I kind of right. build up from there. I had a really bright uh, orange color, and then a lighter orange color. I would layer on that, um, and then I usually went back in with the, that brighter orange. Um, because the, the lighter orange color I had tended to kind of whiten it out and it wasn't as bright and bold. So I went back in and just kind of tried to, you know, very lightly kind of spot or cover back over with the bright orange. And you washed it at some point, right? Um, like to get I, in the recesses? I did just on this guy, but I went over him so many oh, okay. times. Like, I wasn't sure if I liked how it was looking, so... Um, and then finally they get like this sunburst yellow. Yeah, just that little then. little pop of and yellow. And by the way, there's a lot of natural light in this room. In fact, you'll, you'll see the difference. Look, that versus me blocking the light really, uh, really makes a difference. We all right, that's really cool. Let, let's, so let's look at this uh, Bastilodon. And I like the little horned ridge thing you did on the skinks. I mean, oh, that yeah. really makes them... Really makes yeah, them stand out. Of level five editions. And <laughs> the the Bastilodon, I think. Don't mean hold it. Yeah, go ahead. I think it's funner when you're doing it. Oh, okay. Oh. So I and I, I think this is the one where the little the yellow highlight really blazes him up. Here, mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get the right color. And by the way, guys, you're going to see all sorts of different pictures of this. So there you go. Cool. Yeah. And lastly, well, second to last, let's oh. take a look at the uh, Ripper Dactyls. So, um, the, I mean, I just, I love the patterning that you did. And you did oh. it top and bottom, too. Yes. I was like, I didn't want to be cheap. <laughs> no, <laughs> it looks top, fantastic, I like, right? I don't know. That's great. Now, talk about these little leafy things that are on the bases here. 
Because you added some vinyls. Yeah, actually, so I, what I, is uh, that? I went foraging in my yard. I got lots of bits. It's real okay. foliage. So if you commission an army, you might get part of Katie's yard. I get part of my yard. That'll be worth money someday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get a little a little piece of, of Salt Lake. That's literally right. on your <laughs> Salt Lake grown foliage. Nice. Uh, okay. So it's got yeah, like bits of stuff and sticks and yeah, the little leaves are actually like, crushed up. And now the here. bloat toad or whatever he's called. I love the tiny toad. I don't think it's focusing oh, on. No. <laughs> so you made him like a miniature version of the dinosaurs, basically. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cute. Because. I think he's, he's adorbs. All right, so any, um, and I know the purple has like five stages on it. There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, and we, uh, we picked the purple because it would sort of uh, like purple and, and green. Green and orange were like the, yeah. this like secondary That's colors. That's right, that yeah. was it that we picked, but we offset them. So like the green isn't a bright green, it's very muted. And the purple is kind of this purple that goes up to a pink. Mm -hmm. And the orange, the orange obviously is like more of a true bam. color. It's bam orange. That's right. Bam, bam, bam orange. orange in your face. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and uh, we should play a game. Yeah. Yeah. You like come over and this, this game, the rule book, it's like easier to learn than Monopoly. That's what you said. Yeah, it's so said. easy to Age learn it. No. Age of Sigmar. Age of Sigmar. Sigmar. Seraphon, Seraphon. Yeah, so, uh, Seraphon. yes, I think, I think it's got to happen. My guys should be uh, ready pretty soon. Oh, cool. Yeah, all right. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in, and uh, uh, we, we appreciate you coming by. That is not the new tagline. <laughs>